We're here at AUSA 2018 and I'm speaking with Chris Giorgiani, Vice President, Government and Defence, JCB. Chris, um, to, to most people in defence, the, the most well-known JCB product would probably be the HEMI, the, the High Mobility Engineer Excavator. Are there any recent developments surrounding that product that you can share with us? Well actually with our High Mobility Engineer Excavator we just celebrated our 1000th uh, HEMI. Uh, we did that on the 30th of August. So it was a huge milestone uh, for JCB where we celebrated with our employees but also with our customer and all our supporters. So we did that uh, and then uh, a couple weeks later we actually were able to secure a follow-on extension uh, for up to 179 machines and that takes us to uh, production through 2020 so we're quite excited about that. Um, and what is the total number of HEMIs delivered to, to the US Army um, and worldwide to date? Or should I say, uh, what are the total orders? That's perhaps a better question. Well, right now we, we're sitting just north of 1,000 deliveries to our customers globally. Uh, the Army have taken approximately 950 of those machines. Uh, when we look at our order book as well, there's approximately another couple hundred machines between US and international customers that we have or that we're near securing right now. Uh, and with HEMI, is there any next generation product on the horizon or, or future development? Uh, well, with HEMI right now, we're also working on uh, a, a digitized version, E over H version as well, which will enable remote control in the future also. Uh, but then outside of the HEMI as well, we've secured a, uh, a different contract for a forklift, a light capability rough terrain forklift that will go into production in Q3 of next year. Uh, and that light terrain forklift, uh, unlike the HEMI, which is, is a purpose-designed military product, I understand that's based on a, a JCB commercial platform? It is. It's actually 92% of it's commercial, 8% is military. So when you start looking at our the, the products that we're delivering now and then also in the future, we're trying to leverage that commercial expertise that JCB has. So we've taken one of our agricultural telescopic handlers, the 52758, and militarized it to become the light capability rough terrain forklift. Uh, and as we've said, that, that product is 92% is commercial. Are, are there any other militarized commercial products on the horizon for JCB? Well, the two products that we actually have display here, the yellow telescopic handler and also the skid steer loader, those, both of those products are commercial uh, variants. We're trying to demonstrate, again, it leveraging that commercial expertise into applications that the military will find. Um, the teleskid, or in the militarized terms, the XRM, uh, the TAN machine that's here, uh, that machine is compared competing in the skid steer and track loader space that the Army currently has. JCB's got the added value of having a single boom, so from a safety and visibility standpoint, the operator, the soldier, gets in and out of the machine out of the side, plus they only have one boom to contend with, so visibility around the machine is quite good. Uh, in addition, we're the only manufacturer to have a telescopic boom as well, so for the soldier, they're able to load a three-high HESCO barrier with a skid steer loader, something that's really unheard of. So when you start looking at the versatility, being able to do that job with a track loader or a skid steer with a smaller footprint gives that soldier the uh, added uh, versatility they need on the uh, battlefield. Uh, the yellow machine here, the uh, telescopic handler, this machine is, a, is our 10K uh, forklift, so similar to what you'll find uh, with the uh, Atlas program currently. And we're trying to demonstrate we've got a commercial variant uh, that with some slight military modification that can meet that specification, but this is our number one selling machine. We're number one globally with telescopic handlers and number one in the U.S. as well. And we're trying to leverage that expertise with our commercial customers and demonstrate to the uh, military that we're fully capable to be able to uh, serve those various missions that the military has. Excellent. Thank you very much.